Okay, Raw Status TV, thumbs up, hit that thumbs up, the Raw Status IG1, Raw Status Twitter. I'm gonna react. President Kamala Harris, Brahmin, Indian Vice President. A couple of tethers here with Fat Joe. A couple of wannabe Negroes. Let's go. I was asked, so press, we thank you for being here, but... Hold on, uh, I'm going to give a statement too. Okay. <laughs> and we're off to a bad start. Kind of looking like a high school kid sitting in the den with his father and his mother talking about stuff that he doesn't know about. So they're putting Fat Joe out here, again, from hip-hop to politics. This is all encompassing. This is why we keep track of these things on this channel we have for a long time. We have suspected Fat Joe of being a white supremacist for a long time. A lot of people are fooled by this guy's ability to fit in, to slide in, to slip in, to try to fit in, hit that thumbs up. But many of us are not fooled. We believe that this person right here has very nefarious motives and goals and this person is practicing a style of anti-black racism that is practiced in the lands where him and his peoples come from in my opinion hit that thumbs up this is raw status tv we're gonna fast forward just a little bit here i want to just play a little bit i'm calling fair use on this by the way fair use for youtube out there this is a fair use. This, this is me reacting and giving commentary to this uh, political situation here. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit because I want to hear, I want us to listen to the things that they are talking about. Ensuring that we have justice in the criminal justice system. We have also been focused on reentry. Some of the work that I started back when I was DA of San Francisco in 2005. Looking at what we must do to appreciate the fact that Folks who have been held accountable through the criminal justice system should also have an opportunity, once they have done their time, have paid their due, to have the ability to re-enter. And okay, so if we're really going to have reform where we're not talking about anything unless those that have been convicted of felonies, even violent felonies, have the ability to carry a weapon legally again within five years, maybe less, have the ability to vote can have their records expunged if it's anything outside of something that of something that harms a child, a pregnant woman, so on and so forth. Hit that thumbs up. This is Raw Status TV. So once again, they're beating around the bush. They're trimming the hedges. They're ducking in and out from underground like a mole, like a rat. The demo craps, the demo rats, the demon. The demons, the devils. One side of the same bird of white supremacy as the Republicans, as the bird of white supremacy, two wings on the same bird. Hit that thumbs up. We're going to keep going. Be productive and do what they aspire to do, which is to help support their families and live a productive life. To that end, there are a few things that we have done that are very significant. One is we have now and recently announced making small business administration loans available to the previously incarcerated individuals. That is significant because before now, they were prohibited from being eligible for small business administration loans. Okay, so we can skip past all of that and give reparations. That's what will make this advantageous to us, our community. Notice how she's saying to persons, to people, this will include everybody. These are a couple of tethers being used to try to pander the black vote in America. Hit that thumbs up. Now, we're not here to hate on anybody. We're not here to disrespect anybody, but we are here to point out A, things that are truthful and things that could be harmful when it comes to the black community in America. The foundation. Hit that thumbs up. Neither one of these people could care less. Both of these people come from hardcore white supremacist cultures, East Indian culture, Jamaican culture with Kamala Harris, Cuban, Puerto Rican culture with Fat Joe. Now, I've played clips on this channel of Fat Joe saying that he was against Colin Kaepernick kneeling. 
by default, you support the police when you do that. And I know there's people out there that will say, well, man, you know, he be out there in them streets. So, you know, he he don't so he, so he don't want the feds watching them. Feds are, are the feds are already watching. They're watching those. Unpaid taxes. They're watching those lyrics. Understand that somebody like Fat Joe from those cultures is doing what his ancestors did. That is join the white supremacists against black people. In my opinion, hit that thumbs up. We're going to keep going. Not for a long time. And I have personally met many people who were formerly incarcerated, who are hardworking, who are intelligent, who are innovative and want an ability to be able to, to contribute to the economy of their community, need access to capital, could not have. Um, qualified for these loans and now will be okay again we don't need loans we're gonna need reparations across the board how about instead of people coming out of the joint people coming out people before they go in how about black people period because that's the only way that you're going to get this vote that is the only way that you are going to get any type of support whatsoever from the black community in America right now. Those that are the foundation, those that make up your party that control the Democratic Party. Hit that thumbs up. Now, this is why you see it it's such a joke, the 50% thing in hip hop when it comes to who created what. We have a document we have one documentary coming out. Then about 752 documentaries from the other side coming out. They've even gone as far as to try to claim that soul singers from the 1960s had Latin influence. You can't make this stuff up. But understand that this is all connected. And they're aware of this because they are aware of the way that anti-black racism works. It's an ongoing thing, 24 hours a day, 360 days a year worldwide going on all of the time they are aware of this so understand that those with this type of diluted lineage uh with the watered down melanin they are chomping at the bit to be able to lead an onslaught against people that are deeply melanated on behalf of the system of white supremacy. It is the only way that they know how. It's the only way that they can survive in their own warped minds. We have also expanded Pell Grants for individuals who are currently incarcerated. We know that there are many people who, while incarcerated, attempt to upgrade their education. So the Pell Grant, so the Pell Grant is nothing special. This comes in the packet when you apply for a college, they tell you where to get the Pell Grant at or in the email blast or whatever they send you. Back in the day, they would give it to you in a stack of papers. Oh, yeah, the Pell Grant. Oh, yeah. Student loans. Oh, yeah. A credit card for Capital One. Oh, yeah. A MasterCard and an American Express that you got to pay $56 a year for. Probably more like 100 now. So this is the old game. This is like that time when the son of a major car dealership said... You know, my dad told me that even if you're not buying a car, you should come in and just be friends. Just 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 make friends with the car dealer. See, that's that old game. That old game. That old lame game is what's being it's what is what is being practiced by the Democratic Party. So we make the correlation to hip hop and why it's so dangerous to continue to prop up people like Fat Joe. Why the entertainment business kiss up to people like Fat Joe to the lighter skinned in the industry because they understand the dynamic of sales and things like that but you have to ask yourself what do we lose if we stop supporting promoting or even working with these people not much so this whole thing was a, was a joke very awkward looking for uh, Fat Joe for Fat Ho, Fat Ho. Not a real Negro. 
okay? Doing what he can to get the gold star on the forehead from the system of white supremacy as is a cultural norm from whence and where he comes. So maybe they should go back to whence they came. Kamala Harris is kind of the female version of Fat Joe in a political way. Is she doing a black scent right here? Does she talk like this when she's talking to those other people? I don't know, you tell me. But again, the debunking of the 50-50 thing was just the tip of the iceberg. This is why I, play, I pay such close attention to that rap situation with the 50-50 myth. This is an act of war. They want to get in through the rap door and then put these people in front of us politically. So they get our resources that are due to us. The foundation, those that built this country, my great, strong, highly intellectual, really innovative, very resilient and very brave ancestors. That goes for the Upper East Coast as well as the South. Don't forget, blacks are indigenous to New York and Massachusetts and New Jersey and Philadelphia and places like that. Hit that thumbs up. This is Raw Status TV. Let me know what you think. Should more industry professionals begin to call out Fat Joe on these things? We understand that most people are only concerned with the money. So you'll work with somebody that has the connections, that has the ties, that has the following. Can't be mad at that, just to be honest. But what would they do if the roles were reversed? Would they even let someone that looks like us speak for them in any way? That's the dynamic that must change if you ask me. This is Raw Status TV. Leave your comments in the box.